I'm sorry, can't see anything on the monitor, that was why. But good morning, I understand that I'm on. And um, we're continuing with the, if you want, the CGN saga, former CGN saga. Um, as you know, we have a, an acting CGN appointed by the president. Um, having been so directed by the CCT. Now, this is a point that there's been much criticism of. Um, there are those who are saying that they can't relate to the alacrity, I think is the word, with which the um, president has been willing to obey the CCT. Um, and whereas I don't think the facts of the case leave anybody in doubt, what we have heard from lawyers, SANs among them, you might have heard Fallon or SAN, you might have heard Ozekoma or SAN, and um, so many other SANs, who actually have made the point that without prejudice to whatever the substance is, there is a procedure that is backed up by the Constitution and that was not followed. And this cannot be allowed. In fact, some, you know, I think the Senate president were as far, went as far as um, calling it a coup against democracy. So um, criticisms galore. Um, if you're just an ordinary regular guy, an ordinary Nigerian, and I guess we are in the majority, you might be hard pressed to maybe navigate within these ideas. Uh, no lawyer that I have spoken with uh, on this whole matter has said that uh, he endorses whatever the allegations uh, are. And that's not the point they're making. The point they're making is that there are procedures. Even the whole matter of uh, the acting, I mean, the former CJN, having admitted, which the presidency has, you know, quite frankly used a lot, having admitted that, yeah, I forgot. It's true, it's forgot. They quickly refer to aspects of regu uh, reg regulations in, the, uh, whole, in this whole thing about um, declaring your assets. That Once such an admission has been made, then you can't action it. What simply happens is that, well, okay, you know, just go ahead and correct it, and then they act on the correction. So these are the kind of things that you're hearing. These are forms that we can't just throw away any old how. And um, in fact, because of that, MBA, I understand, uh, has sort of decided to boycott the courts in protest for two days. Um, the Senate that was supposed to sit on Tuesday, as we heard last week, so that they could uh, talk about this and come up with a position, have decided not to sit anymore, uh, simply because the matter has now become so judicious, uh, as they have actually approached the Supreme Court, this, that is the National Assembly, uh, is it the Senate or the National Assembly? Whatever, you understand, have approached the Supreme Court for interpretation as indeed is um, recommended by the law, as, by, as the Constitution. So that's where we are at. The substance is that millions of dollars are reported to have been found in the former CJN's accounts. Um, as we are still speaking, there are even reports that uh, the BVN system has thrown up more reports. The president has taken action, but especially from the law, the legal community, not all of them are in agreement that um, all is well. Fine. What does the ordinary regular Joe think about this whole matter? While the eggheads and the lawyers and the SANs have told us in copious detail what things should be, I wonder what regular ordinary citizens think about it. And that's what our program is going to be on today. Um, tapping into if you want, the common field. <coughs> Mr. Demola Digoke, communications consultant, thank you very much for coming on the program. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you're a good morning viewers at home. Indeed. And uh, Mr. Chu Chumoko, publisher and public affairs analyst, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me, sir. Thank you very much. Now, let, let me start with, if I could, Ademola, with that, my lengthy info, the yeah. intro, you, you, get, you, you get the gist. I, I what do you think, as a Nigerian, who is aware of the times that we are living in, who is aware of the objectives to rid our society of, you know, these ills, uh, corruption is way up there. Um, give me your impression. Give me your impression of where we're at now, uh, 
taking into consideration the anger of the law community, a substantial part of them. And what your feeling is, I'm just looking at you, that you're probably representing the ordinary person. Yeah. You know. So what do you feel about <laughs> this whole matter? The yeah. revelations that have come to light and how lawyers are saying the law would have us treat this matter? From the standpoint of an ordinary Nigerian, um, let me start by saying that um, in the political and historical evolution process of any country, a time arises that the strength of character of the people to uphold, to uphold probity, accountability in public office, even you know, legality and constitutionality you know, is tested, is put to test. Yes, lawyers have been talking about legality, constitutionality, rule of law. Yes, a time like this, a time like this comes that our strength of character to be able to uphold the rule of law, legality, constitution, you know, constitutionality, vis-a-vis morality, integrity, honor, the path of honor is put to test. And when such a time comes, you will have to purge yourself of all parochial group interest or selfish interest to be able to look at the issue you know, in a holistic manner. Not to, not to just get fixated on, you know, one side of the argument. So, because if you do that, you may not be seeing the issue the way it should be seen. So, as far as well, I am concerned. As you know, sir, uh, yeah. um, lawyers now and again will mm. tell us that, look, the law is an ass, but yeah. it still is the law. Yeah. Um, I wonder if that sort of shocks into what you've just said about, look, we have to realize that um, you know, the objective, the, 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 the main purpose uh, of, of legislation, you know, it's you. you I, I, I was going there, that we should ask ourselves, what is the end goal of the law? What is the end goal of the law? And the end goal of the law, to me, is like the, util the utilitarians would say, you know, the promotion of the greatest good for the greatest number of people. So if you stick to the law, and the law is not achieving that purpose, one is not saying that, yes, we, you know, because every law is first you know, for the people, not the people for the law. So if you want to stick to legality you know, at the expense of the general good of society, mm. You know, there may be there may be some hero there. Mm, mm, mm. There may be some hero. Okay, okay. Uh, let me ask, ask Chooks. Mm. The lawyers are who they are. Mm. They are trained. Mm -hmm. The the institution of the law was there even before they were born, mm. and this just fitted into it. There are practices and codes and procedures. Uh, for instance, one of the other things that is brought up in relation to what we're talking about is that. The president stepped in and took the role of the CJ of 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 of, of, of the NJC. Mm -hmm. The NJC, they say, that part of the argument say, is the only body that can remove the CJN mm -hmm. via the mechanism of uh, suggestion that will then be approved and then sent to the National Assembly for ratification or whatever. Yeah, for ratification. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, the substantive matter is that, hello, there are serious non-compliance with the conduct of a public officer. Mm -hmm. In fact, some have branched away and started to have a whole debate on who is a public officer, who is a judicial officer. But that's how they're explaining all these things. And one appreciates that, yeah, the law is the law, mm -hmm. and these People are probably saying it right, but let's go back to this whole matter. How do you how do you see it? Morality on the one side, lawyers even have even said morality and the law are different. Mm -hmm. That issue of uh, morality is the one that is also very important to me because before the CGN went to school, after he was born, he, I guess he had parents they groomed him in the society where he grew up. That society was sustained before modern times by education, commitment, dedication, trust, integrity, respect. That's what me and you grew up with before we went to school. 
Interesting. That's Interesting you've said that. Those are all the things that I imagine anybody will expect in a chief justice of any country. Absolutely. Mm. So before we went to school, <coughs> and began, became law students, and even became lawyers, our society was held together by those core values of integrity, dignity, respect for family name, hard work, commitment, dedication, and all kinds of values that we have and that we're throwing away on the altar of law. I don't have a problem with uh, lawyers sticking to, to, to the argument of law. What I have a problem with is that even when you enroll in the universities to study law, you spend the first, the first, first year uh, studying some rudiments, you know, some basic uh, studies. We call it uh, basic studies before you continue in your 200 level, 300 level, 400 level, 500 level. Unfortunately, um, my thing that what has happened is that in the past I have sat down here and I said that the problem Nigeria has is that we have two blocks. Nigerians who have acquired so much wealth, so they build economic block and they build political block. The third block I didn't remember to mention, and which was not really of importance to me at the time I was talking about it, is now the legal block. So you have lawyers creating a block and causing this um, dark clouds that have befallen our country. What if you have going on in Nigeria is that there's a deep, dark, black political cloud that is hovering over our nation. And we've said it in the past, and we're continuing to say in our political party, that we don't have a nation. So this just gives credence to what we've been saying in the last one year or two years, that we do not have a nation. So our, our own party, we're interested in, in a national rebirth, in creating a nation where there will be orderliness. Look, all these lawyers that are making this noise, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, like you, you rightly said. You put it making noise. Yes. They are stating the law. They are, they are stating the law, but I haven't heard them talk about adherence to the law. Well, it's interesting. If, Obedience if, if, to if, law. If, if, if you listen to Falano S.A.N., even Zekome S.A.N., yes. uh, those people were saying that there are infractions on both sides. Okay. But, but, but pathetic. But if Pathetically. Are, but, hold on. But if there are infractions... So you listen to them, they are speaking from both sides of the matter. <laughs> if a 60-year-old man recognizes there's an infraction, I said that by talking about core values, and you have just exposed your family name, the future of your children, you have a family, you are connected to hundreds of people, and there's an infraction, you are a lawyer, you are a chief justice, and this thing has happened. Okay, you are waiting for Falana to come and uh, pacify by saying, oh, there's infraction on both sides. You caused all these problems. Who? The chief, whoever it is that, oh, oh, okay. that, that oh, okay. have money in his account. Oh, 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 okay. And oh. did not remember that in the subsequent The principal level, character in all of this. Yes. Doesn't he have children? Doesn't he have a wife? Doesn't he have a family? Why are you dragging the whole of, if Falana and Zokome and all these lawyers agree that there's an I think infraction. I think if you're mentioning essays that have commented on this matter along these okay. lines. Okay, is there a, you, they you, agree that's an infraction. When there's an infraction mm -hmm. in the, with a man who has grown through society mm -hmm. before he went to school and you were trained at home with those core values that hold society together. Because what is holding us together now is what they are questioning. And we have said that if we love Nigeria, we must fix it. And it's by speaking the truth to, to these people. Yeah. They must allow this that cloud to fade away so that we can move on with our lives. I think we can't continue I, like this. I, I doubt if any of those lawyer commentators have any problem with this, but the point they seem to be insisted upon is that you don't have a good case and then approach it in a way you see, when you're married, that is defective. When you're, when you're married, eh, if you love, it's a problem. You, don't love. <laughs> they will, you see, when you quarrel with a process, yeah. and, and in fact, let me even tell you one of the arguments I had when I was coming to this, I was listening to the radio program, and somebody was saying that there is, the president doesn't have a power. The president doesn't have a power. And I'm thinking, so why does Atiku want to be president? Why is Saraki desiring or desire to be president? I thought that Atiku has been a vice president. He has all the wealth, he has all the connection, he has all the clout and all that. Why do you want to be president? You see, all this argument is the losers are the ordinary people like us, the Nigerians. Nobody has argued in our own favor that these people, we haven't had eaten. He was just telling you jokingly that he has not had breakfast this morning. There are people who have not eaten. Somebody has money in his account that he does not need, that his generation does not need. Where did he get the money from? And he cannot be questioned by leadership. And you are quoting As law. a matter of fact, now that you got to that point, it just reminds me, you also know it, 
Um, the CCT has actually adjourned the case, yeah, lawyer yeah, yeah. facing DA, yeah. which rings yeah, forever and ever. Yeah. You know, yeah. in other words, effectively, it is the, the uh, lawyers are careful. They don't use words anyhow. So yeah. they, we can't say government has dropped the case. Mm. No, I don't think we've gone no, that no, far. No. But we can say that. Uh, it's, it's the, the, the matter has been no, adjourned, adjourned indefinitely. Yeah, indefinitely yeah. So, what's going on here? Um, first of all, the other point that could have saved all of us all of this grief is if the former CGN had seen fit to, on his own, without pressure, just looking at the circumstances, mm. resign, uh, re resign or step aside. Absolutely. You know, if, if, if he had chosen that option, mm. I doubt... We won't thing... have this situation on our hands. And you see, this is... The, you see, this, that, that has been... But he didn't. Own... He chose not to. Yeah. And I think it has been alluded to yeah. in, you know, b b b b the, the, the monologue that's been coming from the presidency. Uh, even the, the, even the, the president's speech yes. made allusion to yes. that. You see, yeah. when you have a person in such high office mm. and so we have expected. this kind of a mess on our mm. hands mm. and one individual can sort it out, in other Absolutely. words, sacrifice. So when you listen to Abakob and listen to Falana and listen to Zakoma and listen to all these people, one hand they blame, they say the, there's an infraction, this man has done wrong, but the due process. I have not heard any of them speak directly on television or in newspaper to this man. Because once the core values that whole society it's completely eroded. What you are going to have, which is what these lawyers are suggesting, mm. is that you're going to have anarchy mm -hmm. in a society. Meanwhile, all this lawlessness does not affect me and you as an ordinary man when there's an infraction on our part. We are thrown to jail. You know how many ordinary Nigerians that are in jail? So the, 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 that, the, for you, the, there's an issue of double standards. Absolutely. No, I, I, for me, let me use this analogy of a market thief. You know, a market thief that was apprehended and beaten to pulp you know, by the market mob. And the mother goes to the market, shouting at the top of her voice, who beat my child? Who beat my child? And someone now goes to her and says, you are asking who beat your child? Did you ask what, what your did child, child do? do? What, what, what did he do what to deserve did he this beating? To deserve so this we're beating. starting off with who beat my child <laughs> in this analogy, so, so in as this opposed analogy, to I, I, what, what did what he do? What did he do? Uh, so, so that part of it, uh, admittedly, the yeah. lawyers are not emphasizing without, without yeah. deleting. Yeah, yeah. Without deleting. They're not deleting it, they're, they're but they're not, not deleting, emphasizing they're not it. Emphasizing they're it. emphasizing so, so, that um, it's not about a no game. It's mm. not about that time it's CJN. About democracy. Yeah. That, it's about That process. is about democracy. Mm -hmm. It's about the integrity of the system. It's about the judiciary, mm -hmm. whoever occupies whatever office mm -hmm. there. That's the point they seem to be making, and I don't know the extent to which it is going to go down well with the, the, the ordinary the, the, member of society. The judiciary is a subset of the entire system, and the part that has can, its own rules. The part cannot be greater than the whole. So, as far as uh, yes, uh, yes, um, there may there may have been some procedural error in this whole thing. But then we ought we, we ought well, to. Well, you're calling it procedural error. I, I don't know. No, no, no. Because no. because they're, 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 I, I imagine that there are so many legal luminaries available no, 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 to the, the presidency. The procedural uh, error. Whatever is the CCT yeah. asks the president to do, I imagine the lawyer is going to seek advice. Even the uh, professor, the vice president, he's, he's, he's a lawyer. There must be a whole pool of those legal people. Fa a lawyer. But, 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 yeah, yeah, but apart from that, there must be a, an advisory. Absolutely. Let's even look at it. Let's look thing. at it this way. So if they came like uh, this, uh, and that lawyers, <laughs> if you want, on the outside are saying that. No, no. The the issue is this. The issue is this. Lawyers have been talking about sidetracking the NJC. The question that we should ask is, what is the role of the NJC? The role of the NJC in, is, you know, to uphold adherence to professional ethics. Mm -hmm. Professional ethics, I have said. If the CJN had been accused of professional misconduct, maybe he had done something in the course of his duties, as a CJN, this, I mean, the, the NJC readily comes in. But mind you, this is a criminal offense.
And I think that's a big if, point. If I, I this think when we get there, this, 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 this further helps the ordinary uh, person. Yeah. And I'm happy, even without being a lawyer, the way you paraphrased what the uh, NJC is all about. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that this, however, is a criminal is a matter. criminal matter for and the, that um, for, for, for with crimi criminal matters uh. the, the the standards are different the yeah. laws are different uh, that part of it the lawyers still say even that itself uh. does not abrogate this whole principle of there is a way uh, recommended prescribed and that everybody has been adhering to that you go not what they are referring to. In fact, they are saying that the man was picked upon this is CGN. When, when, when you look away from the substance of the matter, then you probably can say, oh, he's picked upon. Look at the alacrity with which they everything also was brought. Uh, that that um, with um, this happening um, just a few, few, a couple of weeks or three weeks to election, to election, that whatever. And I ask myself, is these people not politicians? Is it not politics that they are playing? Are you not supposed to check your dictionary for the meaning of politics and politicking? Are you not supposed to use the instrumentality of government to your own advantage? And I think that all this argument that is going on, like I said earlier, Nigerians, ordinary Nigerians in the street, mm. in the market, and in the offices, you and I, we are the ultimate losers. Mm. But the truth of the matter is that there is need for peace okay. in this country. And yeah. in, the, in the people who are going to bring the peace, mm. include you and I, mm -hmm. we must be able to stand in a place of elevation mm -hmm. where we can speak to these people and say, you know what, when you people have finished what you're doing, mm -hmm. Come and look at it in our look at us in our corner. Let's speak to you. You see all these platforms that have been created. It happens in every society where you practice American democracy blindly. The confusion in that place, we are emulating it. Exactly. We are not emulating the one in China. We are not emulating uh -uh. the democracy uh -uh. Uh -uh. In, in Russia. In, in Russia. So, so sincerity where of purpose. Can, yes, we're not bringing cannot, that to bear. Where you cannot take a dime that is not your own. Where you cannot even speak against communism in any part of the world, you'll be picked up. And be brought back. I, I, to China. I, I, I've got to go, sorry. I've got to go to uh, Kaduna, uh, where Mr. Ehio Mole is waiting and is uh, concerned about his credit. No, we won't burn your credit. Good morning, Mr. Ehio Mole. Mr. Ehio Mole in Kaduna. Good morning, hey, sir. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Yeah, please. I my contribution to this uh, topic of discussion is I want to agree with this man. I want to agree with this man on cap concerning the moral Chooks, uh, values of the society and so on. And I want to disagree with the other man who gave an analogy of a, a woman whose child was beaten up in the market. <laughs> and he got there, he was asking, who beat my child, who beat my child, and nobody. And instead of asking, what did my child do? If you do not know who beat your child, you cannot ask that person what did your child do. That's number one. Number two, my take in this matter is that nobody, nobody is saying that Onoga did, I mean the CJN did right or he did wrong, whether he's guilty or not guilty. Yes, Onoga Okay, let's say Onoge is guilty. No, you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't even say that. You understand? Maybe we can just say it's culpable. Okay. No, what we are saying here, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, listen, listen, what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that nobody is saying he is a fault. But the remover, the process of removing him, this is a democracy. And in the democracy, we have the constitution that guides our conduct. We have the constitution where, I mean, that tells us how a president can be removed, how a, 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 a CJN or other heads of court can be removed. We are saying, follow that, you know, if, he has, if it is true that he made an admission that he erred, he made a mistake, he forgot, <laughs> and all that. Then that gives the president a very strong position, a stronger position, to have even referred the matter to NJC, where he, being, where the CJ and being the chairman of the NJC, will be asked to set, I mean, step aside. Other members of this uh, NJC will now take a decision and then recommend him for the remover. And then the president will now follow the constitutional process. That is what we are saying. All right. Follow the process. Otherwise, if it can happen to anybody. Yeah. 
It can happen to anybody. Thank, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Himala. Thank you very much for calling in. This is a point that we made at the beginning of the program ourselves, that that is, this, that is the way one side sees it. But, can, I, can I say but, something? But, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but can, can I just also add that when all these people, are, including Mr. Himala, when they make these observations, we also are aware, I'm not, I don't know how long this would have lasted if we go that way, but you are aware that there, yeah, are, exactly. cases, there are cases that take 10 years Absolutely. in the court system. Absolutely. If, if, because we must go that way and there's no okay. short please, court. Please, maybe please I, I like, I like yeah. to say something yes. before I forget, uh, because of what he said. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Himole, thank you. What he didn't tell you, which I am saying now, is that our democracy is not working. Take it back from what you was in just time. When you isolate this incident from all the bad example every time i come here i repeat myself i hope viewers are not going to be <laughs> upset with me because i keep saying the same thing when you set bad example that's why parents behave very well because their children have the capacity the tendency to emulate them mm -hmm. these examples this quarter that we're playing with this man i'm not interested in any on or I'm, I'm not a party to any side of the argument but thank you for inviting me then you're giving me a voice we are saying our own on our own side that our democracy is not working. Okay. We need to fashion something that can bring all of us so like together. said, it's a coup against democracy. Is what the, has, happened. has it done an infraction in the state previously? I heard them in this argument saying that uh, democracy, uh, due process, mm, we don't have a country. I, I, I want to say this. Uh, talking about. Uh, the, the Tayo has called in from VI. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Ayori. Thank you very much for calling in. How do you see it? Hello? How do you see it? I'm well, thank you. Yeah, Mr. okay. Reed, my own check is this. All right. Where is our values? Where yeah, is our, our sense our of values? values. Mm -hmm. Core values. Yes, where is core our values. Core values. values. Okay. Our core values. Mm -hmm. Now, let me give you my own analogy. Sure. Which is simple. Statutory by the practice in the faith of the Catholic Church. The priest, a, a, a Catholic priest, is expected to be celebrated, meaning that it's not supposed to be married. Mm. When he was young, a woman was, a lady was betrothed to him. As he grew older and he became a Catholic priest, he now claims that he had forgotten or he forgot or he forgets that it was, a lady was betrothed to him and because he had not had any form of sexual intercourse with him, with her, rather, he, he is not married to the lady. Now, if a pope ends up at the pinnacle of being a Catholic priest, what is expected of that pope to do in a situation where it has been identified that that priest or that pope, yeah, had consented to some form of marriage when he was young. What is he supposed to do? I suppose they will have the rules, which is what the lawyers in this case are insisted okay. upon, that so there what, are procedures what what for such an infringement, is, this, is what, what the lawyers, is, legal is luminaries human, would have us humanity, understand. Is, is it humanity or law? What comes first? <laughs> well, you did start off by saying, where are our sense of values? Exactly. You know. Mr. Uh, Ophiori, you see, I don't think this is this, this any base for debate on this matter. Anyone, uh, it, it, the, the reality is this. The reality is that, you see, we keep going back and forth, and I okay. think a lot of Nigerians don't even know what they want. Okay. Okay. A lot of people want the demonstration of grace, while some people also want the democracy. I've, I've got to I interrupt really you, Tayo. Forgive me for doing so, but I've got to go off on a break. But thank you very much for calling in. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. We'll take more of your calls. Welcome back. We're looking at the acting CGN's, you know, appointment against the backdrop of the suspension of a former CBN, uh, not CBN, <laughs> <laughs> former CJN yeah. Chief Justice of Nigeria. And it's not going down well with all people equally. Interesting question that was asked. It seems to speak to the core of what we're talking about. Where is a sense of morality? And as I said, Lawyers have said that we are not unaware of morality. 
But can you people please understand, by you people they mean respectfully, you unlearned people, mm -hmm. or not learned people, mm -hmm. that's what they call non-lawyers, mm -hmm. uh, maybe jokingly, hopefully jokingly, well, hopefully jokingly, yeah, well, well. they are saying that you've got to understand there's a difference between morality and law. And that prompts the question, where are our sense of values? They, in this country, I, I, these I lawyers who make that assertion and who say that, way, I hear it sometimes. I think they don't understand that ordinary illiterate like us, as far as law is concerned. They, they have lost that morality in itself, that authority to talk to us about, about law. Because what makes every economy buoyant and flourish is when outsiders see the perpendicularity of all these lawyers living above board and being above board that attracts them to come that they, if they come here with their investment if they have infractions or they have issues or disagreements in society that they can go to court and get judgment yeah that's not what they see you have all these governors who go to court they never they never attend court they have people who stole money from our state they never they, they, they are not responsible to anybody they have 71 count charges was brought uh, uh, against a certain governor he was cleared mm -hmm. until the court of iniquity chased him abroad and he mm -hmm. went to jail mm -hmm. that is what we want we want them to know that they, they carry a heavier burden that we just look at them and laugh at them because law is not the only way to survive all right all right uh, 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 Yakub, good morning <laughs> thank you for calling in yeah Shifiori, good morning sir good morning sir and then good morning to your guest Morning, I think, Chiviori, we need to we need to notice some certain things in this discussion. The, the those uh, those are lawyers, especially those of our, our lawyer fans. They were telling us that uh, yes, they were admitted that there was a wrong, but the due process was not followed. Chiviori, the question is this: because I've listened to so many people who consign this kind of situation, we find ourselves. The situation is this. The, the, the allegedly crime that committed, does he meet the alleged the crime committed during the course of discharge is duty? The answer is no, severely. Because the situation is that before you can refer any case to NJC, the, the chief justice or whoever head of the or one of the court, he must be that he committed offense during the, the discharge of his duty. But this case of of a thing that is our hand now, it is a false declaration that is supposed to go directly to TCT. It is not that every case that just committed, it must refer to any case. Let me give you a typical example. Here you have, if a judge, um, in, in this case, if a judge kills somebody, and then that person that the judge key, are you telling me that the police that are supposed to arrest the judge must be referred to the judge to any case? See, they are not going to tell us what we know. You see, the political aspect of this station, they were telling us that the president did the wrong thing. The, the president has on the on the director of the CCC that this person must stay aside. I listened to Baba Gide Otitology yesterday. He made us know that the NJC, the president that is heading NJC, is chief justice of the federation. He's supposed to call for the meeting and then he postpone the meeting indefinitely. What do we expect the Mr. President to do in that case? And then he should fold his hand and then look look at somebody that. He said that he admitted that the mistake has already been made. And then he did not resign. All what right, are we then. talking about? What do we really want in this country? Thank you very much, Yakub. Appreciate your call. Um, uh, Lai Mohammed, Minister of Information. I, I read something about him sort of explaining that contrary to what he has heard from opposition, mm -hmm. there is no approach to dictatorship, no attempt to even mm -hmm. look at that road at all, never mind uh, walking on it. But you know, uh, it's, it's sort of because, again, this is what critics have said, that this is the beginning of dictatorship and uh, <laughs> nobody's going to stand for it. And so when these things come under freedom of speech and uh, everybody's allowed to, 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 to have his say, um, even foreign countries that don't know us are uh, intervening in the matter. Um, you, 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 if you're UK, if you're US, if you're the community called EU, well, you, you know us from afar. You know us from newspapers. You, you don't know us like we know ourselves. I think Garbashe, who tried to make this point, I think it was on Sunday or so, mm. I'm just trying to bring up all the components of the conversation uh, that have been brought up. Uh, but it would appear that the lawyers, having asked all lawyers to boycott courts for two days, mm. are saying that, is this whole thing we're talking about, you people don't understand uh, the law and uh, we're not doing this because of anybody, we're not, we're not going against anybody. 
it's that this society and any orderly society needs its rules, regulations, laws to be followed. And in their opinion, the federal government goofed on this one. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me say this, that yes, much uh, of no, the uh, argument... Be before you start, please, can I just take Tony? Okay. Tony came in so that I don't have okay. to interrupt you. Okay. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you, uh, to every one of you down there. Thank good you. Morning. I was going to make uh, just a just a, sh a short um, statement. Sure. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, I think um, I just think um, uh, this 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 is a laughable situation, a very very laughable situation. Whereby the whole world is watching Nigeria. Um, I don't really. I don't busy. I just came here. I just here on. Uh, I just stopped over for like a week and a half now. I, I live in the U.S. Okay, all this um, whether NJC, um, CJC, or Ogunne or whatever, Nigeria should be first. Nigeria should be first. Should be first in everything. We have to look at Nigeria as a country. This country is close to two over 200 million people. History is going to judge us. History. There are kids watching this program, watching everything that is going on right now. All these so-called lawyers coming up with different technology, uh, uh, points trying to deceive themselves. You see, they are the problem. They are, they are part and parcel of the problem of this country. They are big part and parcel of the problem of this country. You know, any time a big gun steal or divert money, or do something that uh, they will benefit from, they will all wear their, whatever it's at, whatever they want to be there, and parade, and try to bend the law. Try to bend the law. As I speak to you right now, if you go to, just let me, let me I don't want to go to like a high court, let me just go to the district court. Then, take the out for silly crawfish. Even if you are driving Lagos right now, they have they are this uh, van parked, parked on the side. It's called, I don't know if it's Black Maria. If you break the law, if it's Black Maria, they have straight away. But if you even break the law, those market women, they will shade, that shade, um, I don't know, they shade uh, along the road. I was asking my friend, I said, what is that? He was explaining to me, he said, if you cross the road, if you break the law, they will put you in that van before they even take you to court. So when it comes to all these big guns, try to be a CJ, whatever is it, or we should just let the law take its own place. Let the law take the place, you know? Let the law play its own role. I know the American procedure, but this man actually admitted that he forgot to declare. And that we're not talking about small money now, we're talking about huge money. Yes. Huge money, for God's sake. And, and in, uh, thank you very much for calling in, Tony. Appreciate your mm -hmm. call. Got to let go, let go of you now. Uh, but that point that Tony got to uh, has also been used by, shall we say, the other side of the conversation that, look, it's right there. The CCT, whatever it is, the act setting it up, that where there's an admission such as a Nogue indeed did make, you can't prosecute on it. All you can do is make him correct the whole matter uh and then we go on from there let me you know <laughs> just, just for the sake of completeness no, we, uh, we just yeah, have to yeah, put that uh, in. i was going to you and see, because, all of this is what they uh, are saying why did the federal government gloss over all of this including even lawyers who are supportive have not found a way to take care of that aspect that um eh, we know but it's like handing the successful resolution of the case over to the opponents by this methodology that has been adopted. That's, yeah. that's the only thing that supportive lawyers, you know, are, are, are complaining about. The other ones who are not supportive are just saying it's a straightforward walk towards dictatorship in this country. Um, much of the argument by legal practitioners, you know, has been hinged on Adherence to. I'm so sorry. Uh, Let me do it again. Uh, I got to interrupt to? you again. Okay. Forgive me. Uh, but okay. let's take uh, a, a legal practitioner this time. Okay. Uh, Mr. Madia Kodumi. Good morning, Mr. Madia Kodumi. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, straight to the point. Uh, the legal practitioners in this country want to become a court. 
<laughs> and what that essentially means. A cult. C U L T. C U L T. Okay. I said it before in a different we, way. We keep talking about cabals and all the rest of it. The legal practitioners want to become a cult and thereby become above the law. It's a simple situation, in my own view. The CJN brought this upon itself Thank you. and brought this Thank upon you. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He should be held responsible for negative consequences that flow from this. A prudent human being forgets his position. The first thing he ought to have done is to resign or excuse. The, 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 the proper phrase is recuse himself right. from yes. this whole proceeding. Yeah. If you or I are accused of an offense, we do not sit in judgment over our own offense. He admitted, I know it's not proper to say uh, by journalists that uh, allegations are made or not made. By his own admission, he said he made a mistake, an error. The simple phrase that everybody knows, whether you're a lawyer or not, ignorance. It's not an excuse for the ordinary man. We must always remember the ordinary man. The NBA is trying to hijack... Sorry, Mr. Maya, call to me. Would you like to address that part of the uh, CCT uh, Act that says that should there be an admission of error in the submission of the form, then you can't action it? Well, you see, without trying to turn every Nigerian into a lawyer. We have banded sections, the Constitution. This is a simple position. We try to over-legalize in this country. We must not all become lawyers. We are not all architects. There's a, um, a tribunal ruling that is against the CJN. Now, that tribunal ruling stands, and it was made before the matter went to the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal had not sat before the tribunal took its decision. Now, the president is well within his right to follow what has been done. Whether it is hasty or not is not the point. The point is very clear. The, the, the president has lawyers as well. We forget that. People give him advice, legal advice, and he has followed that advice. Anybody who is not happy with the decision made by the tribunal should appeal. We have that procedure. That can be followed. Indeed. But what everybody seems to have also forgotten in this regard, two things. One, not all lawyers are screaming. We, the lawyers already have a bad reputation in this one. <laughs> and this is going to make it worse. Now, we should not be on the side of injustice. Yeah. And that injustice is what we must all fight. And what I mean by that injustice is to continue to tarnish the image of the legal profession. We are not a court. We are not above the law. We must abide by the law. Due process. People are shouting about due process. Mm -hmm. A man admitted an offense. The next thing to, ha to happen was to take him before where he would be given his punishment. But the lawyers are arguing that effectively he is above the law. That is not correct. Mm -hmm. All right. The then. Thank you, Mr. Maja Kodumi, thank you, very, <sighs> thank you very much, Mr. Maja Kodumi. Please, I just want to add one quick thing. Okay. I'll bet you it's in seconds. Okay, go ahead. The NJC was not set up to try criminal offenses. Are we saying that the CJN is above the law? The NJC is not a court. It is a disciplinary body that disciplines judicial officers who make any error or mistake in the execution of their professional duty. The lawyer, if I commit professional misconduct, the police cannot arrest me. My body, the NBA, deals with that matter. If I kill somebody, I cannot argue that unless the NBA deals with it first. Okay. The criminal procedure should not take its cost. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. The NJC has no role to play here. Simple and short. Thank but you. But the man also suspended or postponed 
the meeting of the NJC, right. then he knew they would have been suspended. Yes. So what was the president going to do? Mm -hmm. Sit down and wait? No. As an ordinary man, you would say these people are now ganging up to protect their own. That's the accusation that would have been laid against the president. In my view, the president is right. All right, then. We should... Thank you very much, Mr. Madia Kodumi. I, th I really must. Thank you very much. And, um, you know, we've been struggling in here, quote-unquote, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. in the better comma, with, 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 not, with, with not being uh, learned. Yeah. Mm. Uh, with not being learned. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mr. Madia Kodumi, the as a lawyer, is learned. Mm. And uh, so we now have the benefit of, uh, you know, hearing it from a lawyer. And by Mr. Madia Kodumi, he, 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 I don't believe... He's a particularly r rare commodity in the current conversation. No, 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 he's not. No, no, you know, it just needs to be said. Just as we're hearing the other side, there are other ones that. But professional marketing is what has created this this noise about pure this. No, no, no. If you look at, I was in fact, you know, Chief Major Kudumi just, you know, took. Oh, you elevated the matter, Chief. Yeah, he just took the he just took the wind off my sail. Okay. Because I was going to say that. You know, if you look at uh, the analysis, most of them have so much on, uh, okay, non adherence to procedure and yeah. all that, but none has questioned, you know, the, the, the I mean, the, 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 the prep, uh, uh, inclination uh -huh. of the man, you know, in the high of the storm himself, mm -hmm. not to want to adhere to procedure. Because, yes, people are saying they, that they, the matter they, should have been referred they, to they, NJC. Because they, they are saying morality is different from law. No, no, no. That, that's a, I, that's say, a central plank so they, of no, what no, they no, are I, saying. I, I, no, that's no. a central plank of I, what they're saying. I, I, let's get the law now. What is the law? The law they are saying is that the man should have been referred to the NJC. Now the NJC was going to sit. The and man postponed himself it. postponed it. Uh, yeah. so, what will, so what will anybody do in that circumstance? Okay. Uh, Peter is waiting to join the conversation in uh, Victoria Island, I believe. Good morning, sir. From Ikoi. Okay, uh, Ikoi. Good, morning. good morning. Thank you very much for calling in. Uh, okay, what I want to say to your two guests is just simple. We all have to be objective in this matter. Well, thank God you called. Yes, we all have to be objective. Yes. Because why? Everybody is watching. Most people want to learn from the people calling in. So if it's going to take you to select callers, you select objective callers. No, we don't that select we callers. Well, we can't me, know what me, calls are. No, 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 no. Peter, Peter, one second, please. One, one second, one second, one second, Peter. You've got to understand, sir, that we don't, can't select callers. They just okay. come in. They just okay. come in. Let me agree. Let me agree with that. But let us be objective in this matter. We have three arms of government. The presidency, if, it's, if the president is not after Senate, they're after judiciary. Let, every, let the, all these bodies be independent. Okay. Let's follow the due process like they say. Like the lawyer that just called is trying to tell us that, oh, what they're saying is rubbish. Like the other man with caps said before that the yeah. other lawyers are making noise. No, everybody is entitled to his opinion. Uh, let's, let's, let's hear yours, sir. Let's hear, let's let's hear your yes. opinion. Uh, and right. everybody has made their own opinion. Okay. Can, can, you, can, you, can you favor me, us with, with quickly, the benefit of your opinion. opinion on this matter? Yeah, let me quickly make my opinion. My opinion is the corrupt system in Nigeria is way, way too far to what only the eyes can imagine. We almost agree to that. And the system on its own, both from up to down, is porous. Like, if you remember, I called earlier before, when this matter nearly started. I said, why now? On a national period, this is unnecessary distraction. If anybody must agree with me, I am not supporting the CGM. I am not supporting anybody that is corrupt. But why now? Okay. Why not now? City on the street, a time, it's like a time bomb country. This country, there is too much problems everywhere. Well, when you say, Peter, can you help me out a bit? Let me quickly make my comment. Help me out a bit. When you say, why now? How would you respond to the question, to the retort of, why not now? Why not now? Yes, I will tell you. Because why I say, why now? The election is heating up. 
People are not with our former problem was that the campaign were not moving the way they were supposed to be moving. There was not enough jingle on the campaign. People are not going to complain. People are not doing what they're supposed to do if the way they normally do in the previous elections. We were saying that and that people are believing in fear. Now, instead of us to be fighting on how what are they going to contribute, what are they going to give to us? Now we are after the judicial matter. Okay. Nobody's even talking about the election. Oh, so oh, 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 all me, right. Oh, all I right. think once you occupy the whole of this time... But, but you didn't answer the question, question, why not now? Why not now is very simple, Uncle Yori. Is it only the CGN now that has money in its account? Are you telling me other senior office holders in this government, they don't have money? Um... Uh, well, thank you very much, Peter. I don't know. I think the call dropped, but we did get your gist. We and and and, and, and you heard it. So, uh, so, so, so do you know now why now? In yeah. fact, uh, he, what Peter is saying is echoing some of the things that um, yeah. representatives of some European countries I reportedly have been yeah. saying. That it's close uh, to election. That if you ever have. Uh, like uh, what for what those Europeans and yeah. Peter don't know is that if you take another look at what has been going on in the last two weeks. Me and him, and I made, I made that remark already, that Nigeria, ordinary Nigerians are the ultimate losers in the whole of this argument. Why? Because and how well the implication is that we are, we are preparing to go and vote. If what my sense is telling me is correct, we are preparing to go and vote on the 16th of election. Why people are working so hard, some people are working so hard to make sure that our vote will not count on that day. Yeah, okay. And, and then, okay. you see, we're running out of time now, but mm -hmm. in, in relation to these foreign mm -hmm. countries, yeah. friends mm -hmm. of Nigeria, yeah. commenting in this way, uh, you just again. I was just lis uh, I was listening to Garbage on Saturday on Sunday, mm. and he asked a simple question: uh, If it was the Chief Judge of uh, of, uh, of America, mm. if it was the Supre uh, the Chief Justice of the UK, mm -hmm. and then you imagine Nigeria, you know, sending messages mm -hmm. to them, uh, would it be acceptable? Yeah, uh, no, would no, it be no, accepted? No, 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 no. The question. And um, I don't know. I just thought, you know, as I said, it wasn't an original thought of mine. But I did hear, you know, the gentleman make that point, and I, uh, you know, I, I said, you know, that's a question. That's a question right there. It's okay when they say this, but if it had been us, if President Buhari had sent a message across saying that no, 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 whatever, 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 do this quick and uh, make sure, it would be it's take, an it, it would be taking one kind. There are norms in the, the, international the, diplomacy. The, 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 you, you see, for me. Nigeria is, is, is a member of the Committee of Nations. Yes. And, um, you know, we know that, you know, we say, you know, it's now, you know, it's now a global village. Yes. Whatever happens in one part of so, the world. So, but if we know, were to we say what no, 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 US no, no, and let, UK let, are let saying just, no, to no, let, them. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm still going somewhere. Yes. To that, that yes, we're okay. So, maybe um, there is nothing bad in anybody offering you advice. You know, yes. uh, um, anybody can offer you advice. So let them not you, pressure us. Uh, uh, the only thing is that it's you know the 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 independence of you taking that advice. You know the freedom mm. should still be left to I, you. I okay. think that those you understand. Are, are, so are, they have given us advice. Are, are not. Um, mm -hmm. Properly advised because they have yeah. their own local issues. You, you uh, know, I, I, you I know, said the government that. was shut these down in people, America. Th these, these guys are battling with uh, yeah. the exit. From, Can you from imagine the President Buhari sending yeah, a message to Trump to on the shutting down of government yeah, that I, I want this to uh, I want this to end it quick? Is misplaced. Uh, it's wrong you know, right. I, I want this to end talking. quick. So I don't know. Disrespect. I I I endorse entirely what you said that friends can advise. Friends, they can advise. You know, it remains with us. It remains with us. This whole question, you know, it's it it's. There's more to it than meets the eye. And that's, that was is, my only is, observation there is, there is, there is. that when these friendly nations are commenting like this, uh, who are they listening to? Uh, they, they're listening to a lot of people who are crying out to them and very, out. very loud. Yes. And um, they're forming their judgments mm -hmm. and are therefore putting forth this advice. But I don't know in I, Nigeria I here, this. our lawyers have said there is a difference between morality and the law, and that is something for us to ponder so for I a should, while. I, I should propose to you, if, if we're going to put um, uh, morality aside, after, after this program, I will propose to you. <laughs> i got to go. i got to go. Thank you very much, Mr. Adimala Adekoke, communications Thank consultant, you. and Mr. Chuk Smoko, our publisher and public affairs uh, analyst. Thank you for uh, having uh, me. Indeed, Thank and you. thank you for all your calls as well. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now.